Okay. Everything is set and everything is recording. Hey, what's happening, everyone? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Skullgirls Second Encore. And today we are going to be going into our fortune. Or, I guess, Robo Fortune, I guess. So let's see if this is any different from Misfortunes. So before we get started here today, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload, please and thank you. So, let's just get started. Robo Fortune! Okay, so this is different. The Skull Heart is connected to a large underground structure going deeper behind enemy lines. Wait for further report. If this is true, it may be key in finally ending our long struggle. But how do I know I can still trust you, Valentine? Lab 8 is under attack. Valentine has led the Skull Girl right to us. Send help immediate! Well, that settles that. What else does she expect us to believe? In the meantime, encountered the Feral, Ms. Fortune. Unlocking the secrets to her abilities is sure to revolutionize bioweapons. <sighs> That's just stupid! I could make something better in every way! So, Robo Fortune. Robo Fortune. I'll show them all! So, Robo Fortune is the product of Brain Drain. Okay. RF model R003. Activate boot up sequence. My skull go capture skull heart. To capture skull heart. Apprehend all traders to lap zero. And capacitate other subjects seeking the skull heart. Master comedic timing. <laughs> Master comedic timing. Identify yourself. I am more than a robot. Except, not really. Playing off air. Do 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 do. No, none of that. Just state your name and objective. Dramatic pause. I am Robo Fortune, created to destroy the Skull Girl, as well as all who get in Lab Zero's way. Can I having been acquired a cheeseburger? <sighs> I suppose this will have to suffice. Now, get out there and execute your mission. I'm going back to the drawing board to think about where I went wrong. <laughs> Beep boop. Plot shields operating at maximum. I will not bail. Barring control unit apathy. Crash and burn. If you see pain wheel, tell her I'm sick of her ignoring my messages. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I like the little art style. <laughs> yeah! Okay, yes. Oh yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Boing! Oh! No! no. Oh. Oh. Press the Press it! What you gonna do? Canis! No! No battery. I'm not sure if you noticed, but I am a robot. I got so close to losing. Obsolete. Uh, Everybody Liza. warmed up. It's Action. funny that she's the. It's the. Oh, it's 
Approaching early. Quiet on the set. Action. Why is everything so difficult now? I am not sure if you noticed, but I am a robot. Priority override, new behavior dictated. Everybody, mind your marks! Action! I can't be playing with you guys no more. What am I fighting for? <laughs> Master comedic timing, it's, that's funny. Master. Beat him up, guys! Let's rock! <laughs> I guess so. Why are you attacking me? We're on the same side. Beep boop meow. I am sorry, but my creator really wanted to prove that he could do better than... Quote... That stupid cat in those dumb drawings. End quote. Of all the <laughs> petty, ridiculous... He has also labeled you a traitor. Damn! Damn! This is what I get for trying to save Christmas? What? What the fuck? What? Well, label me gone because I quit. I hope Brain Drain's paranoia comes back to bite him. Beep boop, probability of future ironic twist rising. I am beginning to question my creator and his methods. <laughs> You could always turn to religion for answers at the Grand Cathedral. I recommend taking the train and enjoying the city's sights while you soul search. That sounds uncannily appropriate. Proceeding with conveniently placed advice. <laughs> Priority override. New oh, yeah. behavior dictated. Everybody warmed up? Sorry, but I gotta have to kick the shit out of you. 
Well, that I. The I beam is there. Everyone's been so difficult. Damn, she's annoying though. I'm just doing anything I want. Your face are belong to us. <laughs> this is an inefficient use of cat. Make it flashy, guys. Showtime. That's so funny. <laughs> this fish didn't even do nothing. That's one way to do it. This was a triumph. I guess it is. So basically, this just basically amounted to a shit joke. <laughs> Marie, once again. Initiating unprovoked dialogue with designated adversary. Most flesh bags can choose their own purpose while I am trapped within my program parameters. I am not even sure if my creator was thinking straight. <laughs> can the skull heart grant my desire to shed these flawed constraints? I accepted the skull heart in hopes of challenging a world run through with corruption. But it is part of an even greater monster that binds me to its will. The only purpose of this so-called artifact is to spread death. Even if it proved compatible with that mechanical body, it would sooner corrupt your wish than fulfill it. What am I fighting for? Also, did you just give away a major plot point? <laughs> Don't worry, nobody will think any of this nonsense is canon. <laughs> Let us act out our existential angst as this genre demands in an ostentatious final boss battle. Curse this beautifully tragic destiny, beep boop meow. My machine heart is filled with sorrow and hype. <laughs> oh, the writers are so fucking on their point with this one. I love this. No one's gonna think this is canon. <laughs> I guess not. The strong heart is my burden to bear. So neither her Who or Fukia is canon. I wish I was better at dying. 
<laughs> I think I was better at dying. You've got a lot to learn. <laughs> I like that. I think I was better at dying. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Make yourself useful. Watch. Destroy. Go for it. Be afraid. Take your place. Know your place. Know your place. Know your place. See how weak you are. Know your place. You dare challenge me. Here's your surprise. You dare challenge me? Know your place. You don't make a fine slave. Is this how the story ends? No. You can't run away. Okay, I gotta be careful. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime! Go for it. Go Be afraid. Zoom. Go for it. Show them who's boss. You dare challenge me? Know your place. Know your place. See how weak you are. Know your place. Know your place. See how weak you are. Know your place. You dare challenge me. Here's the surprise. Know your place. Make yourself useful. Control Z. How presumptuous. Was it? <laughs> Was it? Days of Future Cats. No matter what wishes may, the tragedy of the Skull Heart will be repeated. Destroying the Skull Heart only resets the seven year cycle. Luckily, my creator's plans have taken this into account. Oh? Are, Are you sure his flawed human decision making won't ruin anything along the way? B. Retrieving objective and returning to lab. This should be interesting. <clears throat> Creator, I have apprehended the power source. You succeeded? I mean, of course you did. I built you after all. Never send an organic to do a machine's job. People, your brain is organic and has the most important job of... Moving on! At last, we can construct the next generation of machine, a new form that will surpass our own. I guess. Brain Drain's gruesome experiments, powered by the Skull Heart itself, gave rise to a new threat. Without a Skull Girl to hunt, Robo Fortune and her successors concluded human fallibility was the next threat that had to be her. Nobody was safe. Oh boy. No! Annie, where are you going? Umbrella, we have to go now! Annie, we can't fight this many! Doc's got a point there. Then let's do our darn best to slow them down! Increase in sodium chloride detected. Relieving blood pressure via cutting lasers. It is for your own good. 
Beep boop meow. Oh no. So this is not canon. Okay. <laughs> but still, it's not canon. Alright. <laughs> that I love that little ending bit <laughs> between her and Marie. Well, it's not like anyone's gonna think this is canon anyway, so <laughs> That was precious. I like that. I hope you guys did too. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much. If uh, Fukuya's is just as good as uh, our fortunes, this is gonna be fucking hysterical. <laughs> and yes, I had to turn on the background noise because, well, it was getting extremely hot in my room. And the industrial fan works better. Just saying. So if you hear like a whirring in the background, it's just a giant thing. That's always what it was. And the reason for that is that I actually do needed, you know, air. I am asthmatic, so Having air on me is absolutely vital. Anyway. Oh? Did they just do our job for us? Yes. Yes, they did. High five! Venus in Aeon? Isn't that Queen Lamia's daughters? That's weird. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you guys and thank you guys so much. Once again, not a canon. Anyway, but to end off, we will be doing canon stuff. So ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you. Next up, Fukia. And see what she's all about. Let me know whose has been your favorite so far. I'm probably gonna ask the same one after I'm, I'm done with Double. But so far, who, who's you guys' favorite? I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But thank you guys so much, and thank you guys so much for listening, and I appreciate you. If you guys have not yet, like, comment, subscribe, get in all the action. The fun never needs to end with the Dragon Guy of Gaming. So come and join in, see what we got. There's always some fun happening. So be here, be square, get kicked in the rear. You guys know we do things. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.